Dear friends, as you meet in Geneva and I address you from Sao Paulo, we should be under no illusions. The trade system and trade itself are in deep trouble. It is the most serious, the most threatening crisis the system has faced since the adoption of the General Agreement on Trade and Tariffs back in 1947, that is, more than 75 years ago. The signs are everywhere. The Doha development round launched over 20 years ago is effectively dead. The dispute settlement system and its appellate body have been paralyzed, hopelessly paralyzed, for years. For the first time in several decades, we have no significant negotiations going on, either on multilateral or bilateral free trade agreement modalities. And on the contrary, the signs we have been seeing are moved backwards in terms of deconstructing much of what had been achieved. When the first Director General of the World Trade Organization said in the mid-1990s that one day, eventually, WTO would become, and I quote, the Constitutional Convention for the drafting of the norms and the rules for a globalized world, he could not suspect that a generation later, the institution would find itself in the middle of an existential crisis, a crisis that is as serious as its main root the crisis of globalization itself. This is why the current crisis is not similar uh, of uh, preceding ones. It's completely different from the preceding crisis because the old crises were just short-term short stalemates in the negotiations. I remember vividly, for instance, the crisis in the Uruguay round of negotiations between 1991 and 1993, because at the time, in 1991, I happened to be the chairman of the GATT contracting parties. Those were uh, problems in the process of negotiation. All the major actors were interested in resuming negotiations as soon as the blockage had been removed. Now what we see is that people everywhere have lost trust on trade negotiations. With the few and understandable exceptions of free trade economists and trade practitioners. This assessment reflects the somber reality that the problems at the international multilateral trade, trade system are just one of the components of a much wider crisis, that of the multilateral system of rules and norms progressively eroded by the war in Ukraine and the trend toward a growing antagonism between the USA and China. In such bleak context, we find ourselves in a paradoxical situation. Developing countries long forgotten in negotiations have now been left with the responsibility to keep alive the concept of a trade liberalization as one of the tools for growth and prosperity. 
The truth of the matter is that South-South trade, for a long time just an aspiration, has become one of the main forces responsible for growth and development over the last two decades. The challenges and threats of the international situation have thus created an exceptional opportunity for putting into effect and finally accomplishing the enormous potential of the global system of a trade preference among developing countries that is now about to enter into force. The GSTP encompasses all the major developing trading partners in Asia, Latin America, and Africa, the new demographic and economic growth axis towards which the world is moving. Already now, and more and more in the future, it will represent the majority of the population, the urbanization, the expansion of the middle classes, the consumer demand in the world. There is significant scope for additional gains in trade liberalization measures, not exclusively tariff cuts among those nations. And the areas that seem particularly promising coincide with the sectors that will actually represent the sources for dynamism and growth in the 21st century economy. That is, food security for an expanding and urbanized population, decarbonization and transition towards green renewable energy, the construction of a more balanced, less unequal pattern of a distribution of the benefits of uh, development. The entry into force of the Sao Paulo Round of Results of the GSTP will place UNCTAD as a unique position as the leading UN agency on South-South trade cooperation. Having been myself present at the creation of the GSTP at the 2004 UNCTAD meeting in Sao Paulo, I feel extremely gratified to welcome its entry into force. And I urge you all to redouble your efforts to make the GSTP one of the best hopes for furthering development through trade in the world of the future. Thank you very much.